So hello everybody, my name is Halo. Welcome to this series on solving code forces problems in Python. We are doing the A to OJ ladder and in this video we're going to be looking at problem 69A which is called Young Physics. It's a very easy problem, let's get into it. Okay guys, let's just read through the question once before we attempt to solve it. So first of all, there's a guy named Vasya. He's in high school. One day he looked at a hockey match so he forgot to do his homework and then his physics teacher tried to punish this lazy guy. And what he did was, this was what his task was. He is given an idle body in space and the forces acting on that body. He needs to find out whether that body is in equilibrium. Okay. So what, and we know that this body can be considered with the coordinates 0, 0, 0. So what equilibrium is, just uh, uh, to, uh, you know, explain to you guys, the force acting on one direction should be equal to the force acting on the opposite direction. Right. So this, whatever this force value is there, the magnitude of this force value should be the same. So if you're looking at direction wise, uh, let's say if this force is minus plus 5, this force should be minus 5. Okay. So we're given uh, three axes. So that will be 0, 0, 0, which will be x, y and z. And we're given a set of uh, vectors over here. If you look at your light, right, now we should be able to find out whether this leads to an equilibrium state or not. How do we know that? Let's just, we need to add all the x values, all the y values, all the z values and make sure that this equals 0, 0, 0. Okay, so how we do that is, let's say we have 4 minus 2 plus 1, that will give you um, 4 minus 2 is 2, that plus 1 will be 3, 1 plus 4 minus 5 will be 0, 7 minus 1 minus 3 will be 3. Okay, so 3, 0, 3 is definitely not in equilibrium, that's why this answer is no. So, how do we solve this in Python? It's very simple. We have, let's just have a variable for x, let's just have a variable for y and a variable for z. This is something that we'll be taking as an input and we can iterate over that. And we have three. Obviously, we know that every input or every line of input will have only three values. So that will be, let's say if it's 4, 1, 7, like this example right here, this will be the zeroth index, this will be the first index and this will be the second index. So we can add all the zeroth index to x, all the first index to y, and all the second index to z. And finally, we can just put a simple if statement to check if x is equal to 0, if y is equal to 0, and if z is equal to 0. How that will look like in this case? So in the first line right here, x value will be added by 4, y's value will be added by 1, and z's value will be added by 7. In the second case, it will be subtracted by 2, y's value will be added by 4, and z's value will be added by minus 1. And in the third case, uh, x's value will be added by 1, y's value will be subtracted by 5 and z's value will be subtracted by 3 which is added by minus 3. Once you do all this you will get 3, 0 and 3 which is this answer right here and we get the output. Now. So this is the logic behind this problem. If you guys can go ahead and solve it yourself, please do so. You can just pause the video right now, try it out or we'll go into the solution. One thing also that we forgot to mention is that what, what the input type is. So basically first we're going to be getting an integer called n and which will be the number of lines. So in this case n is 3, so we have 3 lines. And in every line we get a vector which is 3 uh, elements. So in this case this will be the first line 417 and this will be n times. Okay, So that's how that works. Let's move on to the code now. So it's a very simple piece of code as we discussed before. Number one, let's just take n as input. So that will be n int input, right? And then what do we need to do? We need to loop that n time. So let's just do that in range of n, okay? Then what do we do? We need to take this vector right here. So let's just call this vec, vector will be, and by the way, this line, if you guys don't know how to get input like this and get that into a, a list, this is what you do, you do list of map of int comma input dot r strip dot strip. So what this does is it takes uh, a string line, it takes the last element out which is with, uh, I mean last space, trailing space out with r strip, then it splits that, converts that into list uh, ints and then maps that to a list, okay. So once we have this, first of all, before this, let's just create three variables and that will be number one, x initialize that to 0, y initialize that to 0 and z initialize that to 0. Okay. So once we get this vector right here, what we do simply, we add, we add x plus equal to this particular vector of 0 and then y plus equal to this particular vector of 1 and z equal to this particular vector of 2. Okay. And finally, what we just need to put a simple if condition, once this loop is done, we say if x equal to equal to 0 and y equal to equal to 0 and z equal to equal to 0. We just go ahead and print yes or we print 
and if we just go ahead and run this with all this we have seen that the tests have passed this is the solution it's very very simple i hope you guys are able to understand this if you guys have better solutions let them down in the comments and if you have any questions to this particular solution let that down in the comments as well i'll try to answer as much as i can this is the young physicist problem guys i hope this helps thank you so much for watching and see you in the next video